Hi, it's Paul with RackAttack.com, and this is the Thule Evo Flush Rail Base Roof Rack System for the 2014 through 2022 and possibly beyond Ford Transit Connect van with flush side rails. This system includes three components, starting with the Evo Flush Rail Foot Pack, set of four and the wing bar evo load bars set of two offered in silver or black and the vehicle specific fitting kit and i'll go over these components in detail starting with the fitting kit which includes a set of four of these contoured rubber bases and four sets of these rubberized metal side rail brackets and four barrel fasteners and i'll go over those components and how they install onto one of the feet so here is the Evo flush rail foot. I'll go ahead and pull off that outer cover. And within the foot, you see there's a threaded post. These components of the fit kit have letters that are assigned to them, which will guide you in the correct order of installation. This is letter A for the inner side rail bracket that will be installed first. And B is the rubber base that'll be installed next. That just presses to the underside of the foot. C is the outer portion of the bracket. And that just hinges on the top portion and is held in place with the barrel fastener. We'll just give that a few threads on. The next step would be to install this onto the load bar. And here we have the Thule Wing Bar Evo load bar. This one we've actually cut down so that you can see the extruded aluminum box beam construction. There is a track that runs along the top of the bar, which is accessed by opening the end cap, allowing you to slide in the approved hardware in order to mount certain carriers directly to the top of the bar for a very clean integrated method of attachment. On the underside of the bar is a slot and within that slot is a measuring device. The numbers on the measuring device are not referenced in the instruction sheet. However, you can use those in order to help to center the load bars on the roof of the vehicle. Now I'll go ahead and slide the foot down onto the bar. At this point, you would install the end cap. That end cap is a safety measure while doing your installation to help prevent the loose foot from slipping off the end of the bar. Next, you would tighten the brackets to the side rail using the tool provided with the foot pack. And when you're tightening, this will tighten not only the side rail brackets, but also it will tighten the foot to the bar simultaneously. And so you'll continue tightening. This tool has a handle which will click once it's reached full tightness. And I'll go ahead and tighten it all the way until you can hear that click. and that way you know it's been tightened completely. Now, on the underside of the bar, you'll notice there is some exposed slot. It's important to fill that in with the rubber that is provided with the load bars. That is just cut to measure to fill in that gap and help to maintain the good airflow and aerodynamic performance on the underside of the bar. Now we can go ahead and put the outer cover back into place. It just clicks and give that plastic plug a quarter turn. That plastic plug can be replaced with a Thule lock cylinder. These lock cylinders are sold in matched sets so that you can have your all four of your feet all key matched, but you can also buy larger sets of matched cylinders so that you can have your roof rack and the one key compatible accessories and carriers all locked conveniently with one key number. Okay, so those are all the main features of the Thule Evo Flush Rail Base Roof Rack System. This product and the full line of Thule products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. And if this video was helpful, feel free to give it a like. Also consider subscribing. We have over 2,000 rack-related videos and we upload new videos weekly. And if you have any questions or comments about this particular system, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.